Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in this video, it is a weekly vlog showing you guys how I am on this weight loss journey, what I do, what I eat, positives, the negatives, all that stuff. But before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I'm doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. So, if you saw my recent vlog, or not recent vlog, recent video, you would know that I haven't really been for at least the month of, majority of the month of January, I haven't really been like vlogging daily, everything that I eat and the workouts that I do. And so I'm back on doing that. This is the first video back. We're back on the journey. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's Monday morning. It is a little bit late. It's like a little bit past 7.30, probably 7.45 by now. Ideally, I still do want to get a walk in. So I am going to do some abs and some arms because arms usually are not, they don't take me as long as leg workouts do typically. So I'm going to do an ab workout and an arm workout. And then I'm going to go for about a 30 minute walk and then start my day. So I also wanted to share a little bit of changes going on with the weekly vlogs, just to make them a little bit more precise, a little shorter. Unless if you like longer vlogs, do let me know in the comments down below and I will be a chatty Cathy, you know, if that is the case. But, 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 I am going to go forward with making the beginning and the ending portions a little bit chatty and then having the middle portions kind of just be showing you my workouts, what I'm doing and what I'm eating and not trying to chat as much because the videos just end up being really long. I posted a video that was like over an hour and I was just like, and the footage that I had for that was five hours. I got five hours down to an hour and like seven minutes, which is really good. But at the same time, that's just a lot to kind of get through and a lot to edit to edit through. And the videos were just getting really, 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 really long. And it makes it like it just takes a lot longer to edit. And, you know, I'm working on other projects and doing other stuff for work and stuff like that. So editing videos kind of takes a back seat quite a lot of the time because I have other work that I have to be doing because those have deadlines, whereas this is because I want to do it and I enjoy doing YouTube videos and, and editing them and stuff like that. It's just about the time to edit and upload and you know create and all that stuff. So yeah, just to make it a little bit more concise, a little bit more short, sweet, to the point, showing you guys how I lose weight and all that jazz, <laughs> no pun intended. I am just gonna be showing you the workouts and the food and just doing like a weekly check-in. That being said, if you watched the last video, you would know about like my diet and my approach to food and where I'm at with all that stuff. I'm still gonna be working out. I'm still gonna be eating, you know, healthy foods, but you'll have a better idea as to what is going on. So I'm gonna leave a card in the corner up above so you can check out that video if you want to know like how I'm doing and all that stuff but yeah um oh also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I am very active over there I post daily I'm like active every single day on Instagram so definitely go follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me in real time but yeah I am going to do this ab workout and arms and then we are going to get on this walk also i'm wearing the little cardigan kind of bunched up a little bit but i'm wearing the cardigan that i got in my cause box it is so soft and so cozy it is cold <laughs> i wake up freezing every single morning living in colorado it's just so cold and i also scheduled my hair to get done on saturday so i'm going back to braids because this I had to take some of the crochet braids out because it was just so heavy. Like I have two rows missing here because it was just heavy right there specifically and it was giving me a headache and I was just like, I, I can't. Even having it up in this like bun, it's 
heavy for my head the weight of it is just it's just a lot because of that i have to like part my hair a certain way so you don't see my hair underneath this like because it is crochet braid so i'm just like you know what let's go back to the single braid so i scheduled an appointment because i bought hair when i was in texas and so i'm going to get that done and it's gonna last like the hair appointment is about four to five hours long which is the shortest amount of time ever like it takes no time to get hair done there so i am very very excited about that okay so yeah i am now going to get this workout <laughs> I've been on my way up, now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah Black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Day. You're the only sunset that I'll never forget Red and orange sorbet like it is the best, yeah In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day
totally spaced and forgot to show that I had a slice of toast with some butter and some homemade jam. Um, literally just now, I yeah, I left the camera in my room <laughs> and like made that snack and then ate it <laughs> in the kitchen and then forgot to show it. So yeah, that's what I had. I also had about three total of the little chocolate like squares out of the entire bar. I had three of them, three or four. I think it was three. But yeah, that is what I ate today and that is the workout that I have done um, and also I don't really show what I drink because I literally just drink water all day um, I will show you this is like my third or fourth water bottle and this is a 24 ounce water bottle and then I have been ending my nights with I know this is, it's water with a spoon in it, but I put the get off your acid, alkalize, and replenish daily um, minerals powder into that and I finish off my day. I usually have this, especially if I've had something acidic, so which I had ketchup, which is acidic, and yeah, I've honestly noticed a difference. I don't have that weird like gurgly kind of feeling that acid reflux that you get at the top of your stomach I feel like I just I don't have that anymore because I've been consistently taking this especially when I have something acidic that day so yeah I try to take this daily there are times when I forget but yeah this is how I usually end my nights so that was the day and I will check in with you guys tomorrow Hopefully, when I wake up in the morning, I will wake up when my alarm first goes off instead of sleeping in like I I have been doing. I'm trying to have a better morning routine. Like, it's, it's getting there. I just need to... The earlier I get out of bed, the earlier I can do things. And I still start work on time, but still. You know, just rushing myself even though I'm working from home. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. So it snowed last night. Um, it's not a lot, but I don't know if I'm going to go for a walk this morning. It's currently 7.15, so I'm going to do abs, and I'm going to do legs today. But I don't know if I'm going to go out for a walk. Mainly because when it snows, it gets really icy and slick. And I ain't about to fall like that. I ain't about to fall like that. Okay. So it doesn't look, it looks like it's pretty powdery. It doesn't look super wet. Although it's not a lot of snow. Like truly it's not a lot of snow. It's like, you know, maybe like two or three sheets of snow. Um, like it'll be easy to get off your car. But I worry about the ice, you know? These are things that you gotta worry about when you're nearing 30. Um, falling. <laughs> falling outside in the ice. So, it doesn't look bad. At all. I just want to be safe. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's... I mean, the thing is, I don't... I can't tell if it's icy or not. I don't think it is. So we shall see, but I am going to get started with this workout. It's always freaking cold <laughs> in the mornings.
crying little. <laughs> So <laughs> I said I wasn't going to talk much in the videos, but you know what? It's it's kind of hard to do that. Um, not having little things to kind of break things up. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I just need to calm down. I got worked up for a second, but I obviously did not go walking. I just, it's not that it looks like it's icy or anything because I do worry about that. It is starting to snow again, so it is going to snow throughout the day. But I just don't want to go out in the cold. <laughs> like, it's been pretty cold in the mornings generally because it's winter, okay? And I live in Colorado, which, you know, it's a very cold state. But I just don't really want to, I don't want to do that. So this morning, I can finally have my vitamins again because I thought I double took them the other day and I couldn't remember. So I was like, you know what, just to be on the safe side, I will not take my vitamins. And the vitamins that I'm taking are vitamin D3 and zinc, along with collagen with hot drinks. I realized that the Vital Proteins collagen, they say you can put it into cold drinks no it gets really clumpy and it, it doesn't dissolve properly in cold drinks i have found i have tried i've tried mixing as much as i can with the spoon with cold drinks it does not work so the collagen peptides from vital proteins is best mixed in hot drinks because it dissolves fully and it doesn't give you that weird gloopy like thing that you kind of saw in past videos where i've had it so I have that when I'm having a hot bevy, but this morning I'm having my core bar, which core I'm assuming has gone under some rebranding because it used to be yellow, like not fully yellow. There's blue, purple, and yellow, but now it's just blue and purple. So I have a core bar almost every single morning and then 
I am having some celery juice and I'm going to down that with one, you know, vitamin pill of the zinc and then one of the vitamin D3. So I just have one of those typically with something that I eat. Um, and I also might have, no, nah, I don't think I'll have seaweed. I don't want to have that. But yeah, that is what I'm currently having. Also yesterday, I forgot to show. So I only showed that I had two of the Jamaican pate, but I actually had four. So just wanted to be completely truth about that because I, I don't know why I forgot to show that I grabbed two more, but I only have two left to make. So I'm going to have the rest of that today. So I'm currently having two little squares of chocolate from the evolved um, chocolate bar that I have. I have a sausage and vegetables that I'm going to show you guys in a minute. I will say after I had the two Jamaican patties, because that was all that I had left, Jamaican pate, along with a handful of um, sourdough pretzels, I had about two to three more handfuls of sourdough pretzels. So, yeah. I forgot to show that because I was in a meeting and then maintenance came over because we put in a couple work orders to get some things fixed and yeah. It has snowed quite a bit. <laughs> So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go walking tomorrow. I should have gone this morning, but you know what? No, I shouldn't have because it was cold and I didn't want to go outside. And I'm glad that I'm, I don't have to go outside because I, I definitely don't want to. But yeah, it's been snowing all day. It's been pretty light. I'm sure, I'm sure the roads are not bad. Um, also, perks of living in an apartment there's just like work being done on the apartment above from mine so it's been like i think some some things like i think the carpet or basically all the floors must be getting replaced because it has been like it's like it's in my ear the amount of <sighs> drilling and hammering and like banging it's like different from the hangering, uh, hangering, hammering, because it sounds as though like someone's jumping or something, but like that's hammers. And now my dinner's ready. So I'm going to show you guys that. Let me plate that. I am addicted to these. Another handful. And I'm drinking my... Uh, mineralized acid little concoction thing so that is how I'm ending my night I'm just having a few more of these and then gonna drink that drink and finish this water bottle
going on a walk now. I have two, I have like a jacket and then this coat on top. But yeah, I'm gonna go out for a walk. I'm not gonna take you with me because if I fall while walking outside, I don't wanna break the camera. <laughs> So anyways, I'll be back. Also, I stretched. I didn't show that because my camera literally died. I didn't charge it enough last night. So I did do stretches, you know, mainly lower body stretches. I should do some upper body stretches, but I need to go for a walk, even if it is for 15, 20 minutes. See you guys soon. So I am currently going to be baking. <laughs> I forgot to say that I'm having dinner elsewhere and I said that I would make dessert. And so one of my really good friends, best friends, Alex, got me this for Christmas and because she knows that I bake. Speaking of which, I have to clean my stand mixer. <laughs> Yikes. But she got me this book, Black Girl Baking. And it includes a lot of vegan and gluten-free options because she knows that I'm lactose intolerant. I can't do the dairy. So I'm making fudgy flourless brownie pie. So this is what it looks like. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna make. So I have all of the ingredients now because I just needed vanilla extract um, and some butter. I'm not going to use this freaking whatchamacallit coconut oil because I don't think I have enough of it. But yeah, one of my goals this year is to bake at least once a week and I haven't done that yet and we're at the end of January. So and it's a loose goal. Like I'm just trying to bake as much as possible this year. So, um, and that just means that everything that I'm be making, my friends and everybody that I know is going to get a delivery from me because I cannot eat this by myself because it will be bad. It would be bad if I had all that to myself and did not share it. So I'm gonna get started on this now. It includes espresso powder, basically instant coffee. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to get baking on this. I will do a Instagram versus reality comparison as to how it turns out. So we shall see. <laughs> well, Pinterest, it came out a little bit burnt. So not sure why that happened, but I took it out. So hopefully this is good. <laughs> Well, I have some skincare on, but for dinner tonight, we had basically a Mediterranean style. So we had some flatbread with some beef and chicken, um, tomato salad, hummus, tahini sauce. I had water as well and my allergies and then I had a slice of the fudgy flourless brownie pie just a slice yeah I'm trying to think if that was all that I had yeah that was it I had like two slices of flatbread and then um, all the different sorts of like spreads and side dishes and stuff like that to go with it. It was really, really good. Like very, very delicious. So I kind of want to like make that myself. Um, I found out a lot of it you can get at Trader Joe's. So I'm just like, okay, this is giving me ideas because I need to be, I just like, I just want to be a little bit more creative in the kitchen. And I think it's because I've been watching a lot of chef's table this week. 
You can really see at my nose. That's okay. Anyways, that's what I had for dinner. And the brownie fudge pie thing came out really good. So it was a little bit crispier on the top. Like it looked a little bit burnt, but it, it didn't taste burnt at all. It just looked it on parts of it, but it everyone loved it. Um, yeah, it just, it requires 13 tablespoons of butter. That's so much butter. I think I want to try it with coconut oil next time and see how that fares. But yeah, it's 1125. And I don't know if I'm going to work out tomorrow, to be quite honest with you. It's 8 o'clock, which means that I'm not working out this morning. <laughs> Oh. Gosh. Yeah, I'm not working out this morning. <laughs> it's just not it's just not happening. Um I'm tired. And I kind of want to go to Starbucks and get a caramel latte. Caramel, caramel, caramel. I don't know why I second guessed how I normally say caramel, but it's always caramel. Cara. Caramel. Yeah, that sounds like caramel. And I don't say caramel like that. I say caramel. Why am I going on about enunciation? This is so interesting. I didn't stretch. And it's 
to have a core bar now and take my vitamins and start the day. So, also I got this Aerosmith shirt thrifting. I really like it. I try to go thrifting early in the morning because there's not a lot of people there anyway. It was a little crowded. A guy came up to me. <laughs> oh gosh. A guy came up to me, an older man, and was like, I had a shield on, I had gloves on, I had my mask on because I go out protected because you just never know. Like I wear a mask to protect myself. I wear a shield to protect others because you never know if you could, oh my gosh, I poured like half the bottle on my hand. One moment. Because you like, you just never know if you have it and I just want to be careful. So I, oh no, dropped my vitamin D pill. Um, so I wear like a shield for me like lessening the spread if I do have it because you just don't know and then I wear a mask to protect myself. So this man came up to me when I was thrifting early in the morning, older man, and he started talking about politics and I got uncomfortable because I'm okay talking politics with friends and family because like it's a safer environment for me. So I have to meet her in five minutes. Dang. I'm having a core bar, by the way. This older man comes up to me at the thrift store. Started talking politics and I was very uncomfortable because I don't talk politics with strangers. And I had the gray hair in that I took out the other day. And he was just like, oh, you're probably a lot younger. Um, but you look really great with this hair. And he started touching my hair which also made me very uncomfortable. Like people, like, it is true for black people, like don't go up to a black person and just touch their hair. Like, I don't know you, why are you touching my hair? I'm not going up to you being like, oh, like, look at, like, it's just really weird and it makes me very uncomfortable. And it's just like, why do you feel the need to try and come and touch my hair like I don't get it anyways he touches my hair and then he's just like oh do you have any kids I was like no um he was <laughs> he was like do you want to be my sugar baby He asked me if I wanted to be his sugar baby. It, I was wildly uncomfortable the entire time. Like first, you come up to me like in close proximity. Second, you're an older man, like elderly man. He had white gray hair, probably retired, which great for him. But also like during these times, like, sir, you are vulnerable. Um, <laughs> like you should be maintaining social distance and then talks like tries to talk politics with me and I'm just like I don't know you I don't want to talk politics with you and then touches my hair and then I'm like that <laughs> that movie and then and then and then and then and then um, if I can insert that, that'd be awesome. And then asked me to be his sugar baby. And I was just like, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, if you can get, like, if I didn't have to interact with you and you just gave me money, <laughs> that would work. Like a sponsorship. But I... Nah, -uh. I ain't doing all that other stuff. Uh, uh. Jokes on you. That ain't for me.
Anyways, I gotta work. I'll talk to you guys later. the way in I still wait 223 um, if you saw last week's video or not last week but the last video um, I was talking about how at the time in January I weighed 223 and that was like three weeks into January today is the last day of January um, the fourth week of January and I weigh 223, so nothing has changed. So I got an apple pecan cinnamon muffin and a medium caramel latte with oat milk. So that is what I've gotten so far, and now I'm on my way to get my hair braided. <laughs> Ooh, the gyoza is fried. I was not expecting that. Mm -hmm. Wow. This looks so beautiful. <laughs> hey. Well guys, that's another week in the books. If you can hear that noise, I am finishing up some laundry because I have nothing on my bed and I'm washing all my sheets and my duvet cover, so yes. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. I have eaten ice cream, I have eaten Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, I've had sushi. Um, multiple ice creams to be honest. I've had crumble cookie and I've maintained 223 pounds. Well, not really maintained. I actually lost weight because although at the end of the last video I said I was 223, um, the next day I ate quite, like I ate a lot of that pizza and some other stuff. I can't really remember what I had, to be quite honest with you, but I ended up going back up to 227 pounds at the start of this week and got back down to 223 pounds while eating pretty much whatever I wanted. So yeah, I've been having core bars in the morning because it is quick and easy just because work has been a little bit crazy, but that is fine and accepted. And sometimes I I have a goal of getting up at a certain time in the morning, and I just really haven't met that this week. Um, last week I definitely did, but this past week I haven't. So I'm going to try again this coming week to meet the goal of actually waking up at 6, getting out of bed at 6.30, and starting my workout, starting my day. So I have a earlier time to make my breakfast and eat it before I start work instead of eating it while working. Cause I just, I wanna have that separation, you know? So anyways, I'm being a chatty Cathy like always, but what's new? But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for the love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it so much. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I'm doing. And comment down below, say hi. I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one.
Bye. Sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me?